All right, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and today we are going to be taking a look at Cyberpunk 2077 on the Xbox One, and this is also compatible with the Xbox Series X, which, honestly, if you have that, it would be a much better uh, route to go to play this game. Uh, I've heard, I think, that this isn't doesn't run very well on the regular Xbox One or the PS4. Uh, I have an Xbox One X, which will probably help things a little bit, but I think that the Series X would probably be a much better route to go, or if you have a strong enough PC... That would be how to play this game from what I gather. Uh, I think there's been a, but a bunch of news about this game and I, I, I haven't looked at any of it. So I, I really have no idea, to be honest, about how uh, this game is going for, for a lot of people. Uh, I haven't tried it out myself. I'm like a week late to the party. Uh, but I'm excited to take a look at this and, and do an unboxing for the standard edition because it is, you know, you are getting a little bit more, uh, which I always like about uh, CD Projekt Red. I've heard so many good things about them, and I haven't played any of their games. I'm horrible. But uh, The Witcher 3 uh, ended up getting uh, also this kind of um, love. I, I believe even The Witcher 2 uh, ended up getting some kind of enhanced edition on the standard edition, where it's it's not just, you know, the regular game itself. You get a, a few extra goodies here and there, maps and things. Uh, they're, they're very true to, the, you know, what old school gamers uh, like. So... Uh, we're going to unwrap this first. And I don't really... Uh, let's go there. I think that there's already a bit of an opening. I've been looking forward to this game, not nearly as much as I think most people are. I think so many people have been freaking out for this game for so long. A cyberpunk setting, to me, really isn't my kind of jam. Uh, I don't care for really either of them. Uh, they like the robotics and, and the punk theme just doesn't do anything, really. Uh, but I've just heard so many good things about these guys, CG, CD Projekt Red. So that's why I got it. Look at all this. In this box, box you get... Uh, Two Blu-ray discs, a world a compendium, stickers, postcards, and a game map. And digital content access as well. Over 200 awards. I do like the look of this case, I have to say that. And the game looks nice too, from the videos that I've seen. Night City changes every body. I also love that Keanu Reeves is part of this game. I think that that was such an awesome announcement. What was it? Last year's E3, I think. Oh, yeah, because we didn't have an E3 this year. Uh, obviously, 4K Ultra HD, HDR10. There'll be Atmos single player uh, only. Uh, blood and gore, intense violence, nudity, strong language, strong sexual content, use of uh, drugs and alcohol. You're getting the whole shebang shebang here. Eh, oh, and how much space is this going to take? Up to 70 gigs? That's not too bad. I expected a lot more, actually. All right. Let's see what's included. Well, we kind of saw everything that was included. Okay. World com Compendium. This is like a manual. Oh my god. Black and white. I'm kind of okay with that, though. We have a, a manual. That doesn't happen anymore. Uh, that's 20 pages. What else is included? Well, the game. I think the postcards and stickers. This is so weird. Oh, another compendium. Is this the French version? Yeah, okay, so French version. Not too exciting. Postcards, I guess. It's kind of cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, is this the map? Oh, I don't want to really open all of this, but okay. No, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. It's like a GTA map. Actually, a bit smaller. Like the actual map. Uh, I assume that the, maybe the world is bigger than that. Uh, well, you get the point. And the game... Kind of looks like the outer box that we have here. Let's pop that baby open too. 
I didn't see the stickers yet. Maybe that might be inside the game. Why is this? Oh. It's literally just the stickers, okay. Stickers, stuff about digital content. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I did not know that. You can flip it around if you want the female character lead as the cover. That's pretty cool. Good job. And two discs. I'm guessing the install disc and the play disc maybe. Mm, probably. That's what I'm assuming. And there you have it. Cyberpunk 2077. I don't even know when I'm going to play this. <laughs> Some point in time this month, hopefully. Uh, try it out at least. So thank you all for watching. Uh, you have bearded in. Beardage!